DJI Mini 3 is expected to be released soon since there is increasing competition in the under 250 gram sector, but how soon will that be? And what might the new Mini 3 have in terms of specs? We're expecting the Mini 3 to be called the Mini 2s, just like with the Mavic Air 2s, since the changes won't be that drastic for now. Hello guys! Welcome to my video. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And press the bell icon for more updates. The DJI Mini 3 release date will be August or September 2021. If DJI wants to catch up with the competition, and if not, it will probably be in November of 2021. I have written an article on the DJI Mavic 3 leaks, and I predict it will be released before the Mini 3, somewhere in the July of 2021. We do have an image leak that looks like the top cover for a Mini drone from DJI, which we could only expect to be an upgrade to the existing model. And considering how DJI has given us leaks just a few months before release usually, it's not far-fetched to say a Mini 2s is on its way this year. The cost of the drone is going to be highly dependent on the new specs and features it has. It's hard to include much more technology in the already existing drone, but I do see the Mini 3 or 2s is $50-$100 more expensive. So considering the DJI Mini 2 now costs $449, the DJI Mini 3 will be $499 for the basic package. The camera to be upgraded would need either a larger sensor or to shoot in 4K 60p. I will compare it with one of the recent releases from Hubzon, the Xeno Mini Pro, which has some specs that almost seem impossible. I'm talking about a 1 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which is close to being a 1 inch, yet they managed to fit in such a minor 3 axis stabilized camera. I expect the new Mini 2 from DJI to have increased sensor size from the original, and therefore better low light performance. The probability of the camera shooting 4K and 60fps is relatively high. This would be one of the more accessible technical improvements they can make that still has a powerful impact on the final user. If the camera would have even the tiniest amount of lossless zoom, it would already make a lot of difference for me. Again, in the Xeno Mini Pro, we can see a very excellent 6x zoom, which is part lossless, which means it's done optically from the lens, and interest from zooming in the software, which reduces image quality. A 2x lossless zoom would be something that would make it one of the best drones on the market, no doubt. We can't expect a more extended range from the already massive 10 km range of the Mini 2, but there's for the sure potential for improvement by utilizing the OcuSync 3.0 that we've seen in the new DJI FPV drone. There's no doubt that the Mini 3 or 2s will have at least front-facing sensors, if not even backward sensors, since it might be the most significant differentiating factor from the Mini 2. This opens up many possibilities, including the fantastic Active Track 4.0 from DJI, where the drone follows you and avoids obstacles in its way, recently updated with the new DJI Air 2s. It would finally make it a complete drone without flaws. However, we must keep in mind that the original reason for which DJI hasn't added obstacle sensors in the Mini 2 was overheating. If they manage to solve this issue, it should be simple to do it, considering Hubzon has already done it. And if you think the drone might go over 250 grams with that weight addition, think again because the Mini 2 weighs 238 grams, so there are 12 grams to spare, which is plenty for some obstacle sensors. I'm expecting the DJI Mini 3 to inherit some of the new technology developed with the Air 2s, like the Active Track 4.0, Spotlight 2.0, and Point of Interest 3.0. It might also come with the standard quick shots from DJI that we're used with, like a drone, asteroid, etc. One new flight mode the Mini 3 might add to the mix is the Waypoint mode, which can be helpful for certain people. Since it's going to be pretty much the same package, in terms of battery, it's hard to believe they'll make much of an improvement, yet I see it is possible to get the drone to 34 minutes of flight time since the Xeno Mini Pro can stay in the air for 40 minutes now. I personally like the actual controller from DJI, and it seems they're sticking with it, too, considering it's being added to the Mavic Air 2s, too, their latest release. We'll probably not see a new improvement to come with the controller until maybe the Mavic 3 Pro, but that's massive speculation on my part. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.